Well, Psalms 56 gives us some more historical perspective as well on King David's life. Uh, they, they say in this one, this is to the chief magician upon Jonath L.M. Rekokim, uh, a miktam of David. We don't really know what that term miktam it really means. We've talked about that in previous Psalms. You can go look that up at the beginning of the book. Uh, but this was written about the time uh, when David, remember Saul was pursuing David, so David fled. One of the places David went was actually to the Philistines. Now, he has killed many Philistines and destroyed them and has been a complete thorn in their back. They're trying to grow their nation and attack Israel, and David keeps quelling them down. Uh, but because the enemy of my enemy is my friend, he ends up finding refuge among the Philistines. So he goes, and one of the Philistine kings uh, at Gath says, yes, you can come live among us. And so they, he has him go to one of the Philistine cities where David can then hide. Because Saul's not going to go after him in the Philistine cities because that means he'd be declaring war on the Philistines too. And Saul doesn't have a good track record of winning against the Philistines. Unless David's there. If David is representing Saul, they win all the time. But if it's Saul, Philistines have a good chance of winning. So hiding among the Philistines was a good strategic move for David. And it gave him a chance to have some safety and rebuild his armies and build himself up and his what he was doing as well. So that's what was happening uh, when this psalm was written. So verse 1, Be merciful unto me, O God, for man would swallow me up. He fighting daily oppresseth me. So this is probably talking about, again, a, a prayer to God, but talking about that this challenge that David and Saul have. Verse 2, Mine enemies would daily swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me, O thou most high. What time I am afraid I will trust in thee. In God will I praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Every day they rest my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather themselves together. They hide themselves. They make my, mark my steps. Then they wait for my soul. So this is him. David's like, my enemies are all around me. I mean, the Philistines are my enemies too. But Saul is my enemy as well. And I'm, I'm afraid. You know, I trust in God. The only reason I can do things and function is because I believe in God. God is my strength. God is what helps me despite the rest of the world being against me. Um, it's a good perspective, I think, for us to take when we feel neglected by the world, we feel the world is all against us, that God can be with us and support us and help us. And he does. Uh, and they're resting his words. They're taking what he's saying and, and manipulating it for their own causes, uh, twisting his words around, basically. Um, so he's saying that while all these people are trying to destroy him, God is with him because he trusts in God. Verse seven, shall they escape iniquity in thine anger? Cast down the people, O God. Thou tellest my wanderings, put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? Now this is cool that he's, he's mentioning a book that God has. This is that uh, reference to the book of remembrance. Uh, that uh, is, there's a book kept in heaven of all of our doings. And he's saying, Put my sorrow in that book. If my tears, I am sad from how much people hate me. Put my tears in your book. Memorialize against them. And remember what I have experienced. Verse 9. When I cry unto thee, then shall mine enemies turn back. This I know, for God is for me. In God will I praise his word, and the Lord will I praise his word. In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid of what man can do unto me. So again, when God's on my side, God, when you're here with me, they can't do a thing against me. And they all flee because they know they can't win if you're with me. So I put my trust in you, basically. Verse 12, thy vows are upon me, O God. I will render praises unto thee. So those ordinances, those covenants, I am keeping the covenants you've made with me, I've made with you. Verse 13, for thou hast delivered my soul from death. Wilt not thou deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living? So David's had his life saved a lot from Saul and the Philistines and others, because God has been with him to support him and help him. And uh, some really great things we can look at in this chapter 
uh, to think of how God can support us, even when the whole world is against us. God loves us and can still support us and help us. That's really great. Uh, so let's jump over into the next psalm as we continue on. <clears throat> 